Yeah, this is going to be a really exciting matchup. And I bet that Kairos has been looking forward to an opportunity like this. Yes. Um, his young link is just so formidable. Like, that character, that character's frame data is cracked. Yes. <laughs> I mean, if it you tell us a favor, go to ultimateframedata.com and pull up Young Link's page. Oh, yes. And you'll just be wondering, why is this character As not As a former Young Link main, I know. Trust me. <laughs> three minus two aerials and a minus so three why, aerial. why do we not see more successful Young Links? It's tough to say. The range, I think, is a bit of a factor. The character does have a sword, but in effect only has pretty average range for most of his moves. And I think the fact that, you know, killing is not something you can just do off of a straight hit. You do need a sword. Oh, a lot no! of paces! You do need a setup for a down air like that. Leo <laughs> could not start this one any hotter. And, I mean, like, we're so used to Leo getting just, you know, the, the one, two potato, sweet potato to start things off. And Karos just served him up the whole meal. <laughs> All right. Ni nice one here from Karos. Oh, Leo driving the issue. But smart on Leo not to overextend. But Karos finally forcing Leo off stage. He held down with my Venezuela duty. Almost got sent back to hell again. Not enough time to go for that landing there the second time. Down tilt after the second place is caught. Karos finally figured out the DI for that. Not falling prey yet again. Leo going down deep. And he managed to recover. And good landing by Leo as well. The Nair just warding Karos away. Kairos just really hasn't had the opportunity. There we go. He's starting to set up shop. Trying to get a big movement platform call out. And I'm smashed to do it. Well, with a bit of rage as well, so. Oh my god, that might have oh, that almost spelled the end of Kairos. I can stop immediately! And there we go! Leo going down deep. No forgiveness for Kairos. That grounded spin attack is punishable by an option such as that one, the up special. Yunlin must be a particular weight to keep suffering all these follow-ups from the upbeat command grab. There's got to be something going on here because Leo is just absolutely nailing them every single time. I mean, it is, of course, DI dependent, but Leo is just making it look true every time. Hey, even late, Leo can basically just, you know, play with the idea of Kairos being terrified. The Iron, Kairos even has a chance to get back into this one. Leo slams the door shut, and that's all she wrote for game one. And Kairos immediately walks in front of the run back for game two. Leo just eager to do exactly the same thing in this game two. And <laughs> Leo's like, I, 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 let me speed run him, Sam. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure what music Kairos was listening to, but I think changing it is the right move. Yeah. I mean, there, there's something to be said about rhythm. And we're also going to see the costume change. Kairos is trying to get himself into a different mindset, but picking a different alt. So. I love how we were talking about, oh, Taros is going to hopefully lay out a bit more of a challenge. Woo! That's the thing. That's why these sets are more than one game, Ron. No question. Because it gives Taros a chance to try and fight back. And again, uh. you see how safe Young Link's errors were. Even with a parry, Leo could only get a really minimal punish. Which, which is why when the things are unsafe, like that grab, lead to Tyros eating so much damage, this shows what possibly are the limitations of the Young, Lung, Young Link character. I actually really do like that decision to go high. Even with an upper, that's a pretty minimal bit of extra credit. Oh, he almost got the Nair to extend. Tyros looking for his own clippable moment, falls short and loses the stock. You have to wonder what kind of mindset he's in right now. Good parry, but that move does have a landing hip off. Wow. Leo able to stuff out Kairos' setup with dash attack. Forcing the issue. Leo's so good at getting these grabs. Parries, but wow, the spot ah! dodge. What a presence of mind from Kairos. That that felt like just desperation. Oh, no. Kairo, or Leo almost making a one-two to the skies there. And Leo's got Kairos at ledge, and he catches Kairos trying to jump from ledge with the formidable back air. All right. There goes Kairos with the, the water sprinkler up the rising hitbox there is going to take that stock. Yeah, down tilt to aerial spin attack. Yeah. One of Young Link's best kill confirms. Do you feel like Kairos is starting to slow the game down a little bit, Bronk? Uh, does he have a choice? I mean, with the way Leo is playing, he's just playing at an only oh no only rate that doesn't get him killed and the, even the doing that hit hitbox almost did it cows has to do so much just to survive right there 
excellent use of the bomb to force his way back to stage. He even been blowing himself up a little bit. A little bit of damage is definitely worth it if you're able to keep your stock against the best in the world. Who knows exactly what to do? That dash attack is going to seal the deal. Yeah, if you're going to have a mishap like that, putting the bomb at ledge and blowing yourself up, Leo with those eagle eyes will go in and find the kill. Yeah.